I didn't see you there. Welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering why I look like this. And it's because you look like this too on the other end of that camera. So yeah, today we're just going to be doing a little food vlog. It's my first one, but you know I made some food. And um, I got the recipe off of Pinterest. Um, your girl's not a cook. She don't like cooking. I know how to cook. I just don't like doing it. But I'm trying to do better. Um, well, I just wanted to change my lifestyle. You know, 2021, everybody wants to lose weight. So um, I thought this would just be a fun video to do. Let me know if you guys end up doing the recipe. Um, share it with me. And you'll be able to get all the instructions for what's in the recipe down below. And also, before you leave the video, don't forget to, you know, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. You know, like, leave a comment. Let me know how I did on my first food vlog. And if you tried the video, if you enjoyed the food, um, if it looks nasty, you know, all of the above. I'm not perfect, clearly. Um, I want my channel to be a place where we don't have to be perfect all the time. We don't have to be put together all the time. We're real. Um, so thanks and let's get into this video. So we're going to take a large skillet and we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil and we're going to place our skillet on medium to high heat. Now we're going to add a pound of Italian sausage in mild. You can do um, whichever you prefer, but now I'm just going to crumble the Italian sausage um, to my liking. So I want to cook and crumble the sausage until it's cooked through and browned. This was my first time trying this recipe. I found it on Pinterest, so I just thought it would be a fun idea to try to cook something new and different. Um, I'll have the recipe listed down below, so at the end of the video, if you want to try this recipe for yourself, you can go ahead and find um, the recipe also listed down below for your convenience. So I'm still cooking the meat through, just really making sure I crumble the pieces up. uses um, a half a cup of chopped onions however I don't like onions so I just use Mrs. Dash's onion and herb just to get the same flavoring without actual onions it's something about the texture of diced onions that just doesn't sit right with me so um, I didn't really measure it I just kind of eyeballed it to my preference but if you want to follow the actual recipe um, it requires half a cup of diced onions. So now I'm just mixing that flavoring through um, and finish crumbling up the sausage. Just making sure I already work that in there and make sure everything is nice and brown. Then we want to go ahead and add our red pepper flakes. So I'm just adding those in there. And it's half a tablespoon of the red pepper flakes that we're adding and we're also going to be adding our garlic I went and bought the minced garlic so half a teaspoon is the equivalent to one clove of garlic in the recipe it tells you to use four cloves of garlic but um, I just you know I'm a little lazy I'm not a professional cook so we're just going to improvise <laughs> Okay, so I'm mixing all that in there, and while my sausage is continuing to brown and looking lovely, um, all the seasonings and spices that I just added in there are just going to mix and marinate. So now this is almost cooked through, and I'm just finishing up 
browning it and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped spinach so in the recipe you put one cup of spinach I like to put a little extra spinach because I do like um, spinach so but I went ahead and measured off the one cup of spinach and then I think I ended up adding some more spinach in there just to get extra spinach in Everything is looking pretty cooked through. My spinach is um, cooking as well. So now I'm just making sure I crumble the sausage even more just to get finer pieces. And then I'm gonna add my tomato sauce in. I added one can of tomato sauce in and I'm just gonna mix that in. Then we're gonna add in our heavy cream so while I'm adding in the heavy cream and um, stirring in to blend the sauce I just wanted to say a few tips for the Italian sausage as you can use whatever kind of Italian sausage you prefer whether it be mild sweet and sweet or hot you could even use like turkey Italian sausage if you prefer but I usually use mild for my personal preference. Um, this is just like an alternative to the recipe um, or to any recipe really with Italian sausage in it. And they come in a different varieties. So now I'm just mixing in the sauce and we're gonna cook that through. Also, I have my noodles cooking separately. So they've been cooking while I've been preparing the sauce. And that will be the last thing that we need to add in. So once the sauce starts to get a nice thickening to it, um, we want to go ahead and this will be the point where you add in your noodles. We don't want to have our noodles fully cooked because they're going to cook fully in the sauce. So I would recommend that when you're cooking your noodles, you undercook them a little bit so you can let them finish cooking while in the sauce. Therefore, the noodles can absorb the flavoring. So now we wanna mix that in and then we're gonna leave this to simmer. Um, so I turned my heat after mixing this in, I turned the heat down to low so that the noodles have a chance to finish cooking and blend in with the sauce. Um, so really this is preference. There was no necessarily time, amount of time, but I just kind of eyeballed it um, and kept checking on it until I felt like the noodles were tender enough and the sauce was at a good point. So I'll insert a picture of the final product. Before I close out this video, I just want to say Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye.